Let's build the easiest and best mob XP farm for Minecraft Bedrock 1.20. Now this farm is quite simple to make and should only take you about an hour to fully complete and set up. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a nice body of water like I have here. Now it doesn't have to be a body of water, you can do it over top of land, it just ensures that you have the best rights over top of water. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to sea level, so go to the bottom, build up to when you have one block right on sea level like this, and then you can just go ahead and break these blocks underneath, doesn't really matter. And then what you want to do is look at your coordinates, so I've turned them on in the top left. You can see I'm at 63, I want to go 100 blocks up, so I'm going to go all the way up to 163. So as you can see now, I'm at 163, and what you want to do from here is build a 4x6 platform on this top block. So as you can see at the top of this pillar here, I've made a nice 4x6 platform at the top. And now what we need to do is make a way to get up and down from the farm. So if you're over top of water, what you can do is take a bunch of ladders, hold and just fall down into the water. And if you're over top of land, just find your way down and build the ladders going all the way up. Next, come back up to the top of your farm and in the back half of the 6x4 here, go ahead and break those four blocks like that. You then want to come around and place two hoppers into those blocks and two hoppers into those hoppers. You then want to break these two blocks and place chests here. So any blocks that do actually go inside of these hoppers all go inside of this chest right here. Next, what you want to do is place two blocks back there, two beside and two right there. You then want to place a temporary block followed by two slabs just like that. Now these can be any materials if I didn't mention, it doesn't have to be this exact type of slab or block. You then want to build up like this one more time, place a temporary block and then two more just like that. And this is where we're actually going to end up killing the mobs. And this is just to make sure that we can still collect the XP, but they can't actually hit us. Now go ahead and build up one more layer on top just like this. And you want to build this pillar all the way up to be 21 blocks high. So this is three so far, so I should do 18 more blocks on top of this. So now that we've made the chamber that the mobs are going to fall down, we now need to make the spawn platform for the farm. Really quick, if you are enjoying though, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So go ahead to any one of these sides on the top here, build out seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then do that here as well and copy this for all four sides. So it looks a little something like this. Next, you want to build a two high wall around this entire thing. So place a temporary block, two blocks up, and then just build this wall going all the way around the outside of this, just like this. Next, what you want to do is connect these corners here. So I'm going to take this corner, bring it out, take this corner, bring it out, Fill this in and do that for all, for all four of the sides. And this is where the mobs are actually going to spawn. So once it's all said and done, it should look like this. Next, what you want to do is grab your trap doors. This can be any type of trap door. It doesn't matter. And you want to place one on every single one of these blocks, just like this, and then open it up. And this is so that the mobs think that this is a full block. They walk over here and they fall down into this area where they're then going to get pushed into the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and place one of these on every single one of these sides here and then open them all up. And once you have all of the trapdoors placed down, go ahead and take some water, place it at the edge here. If you've done it correctly, it should run right to here. And now what's going to happen is when the mobs spawn, they think this is a full block, walk into here and get pushed all the way down to their death. So I'm going to go ahead and place water on all four of these sides here now. So once you have finished all of that, it should look a little something just like this. Next, what you want to do is make a two high wall around the entire structure. If you've noticed, there is one block here, so we don't actually have to go out. Simply place blocks like this, go too high and do that the entire way around. So now it should look a little something just like this. Now we're so close to done this farm, just a couple more steps, so make sure to stay in there. Really quick though, if you are enjoying this video, again, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As well, if I haven't already mentioned it, you can download this world. It's the first link in the description if you just want to check the dimensions of something. If you don't feel like building it, whatever you want. But with that out of the way, let's get back into the video. Next, what we want to do is go to any one of the sides here, place a temporary block there with one block up, break that, and then put a roof over top of this entire thing. Now be careful because as you're doing this, mobs could start to spawn. I am currently in peaceful mode, so they're not going to, but later on I will turn my game into hard mode so they do start to spawn. As you can see, if I go into spectator mode here, it is fully dark inside of here and that is exactly what we want. 
And that is it. That is the entire farm done. There is one more step I am going to show you if you do want to make this fully AFK. But if not, this is the farm. All you have to do is sit down here and kill the mobs when they fall down. Now, if you do want to make the farm fully AFK to the point where all you have to do is just sit here and do nothing, you'll collect the drops and the XP, then go ahead and follow these next steps. So let's start off by breaking all of this stuff down here. We are going to rebuild it, but just to make it easier on us, let's break all of this. The first thing you want to do is place a piston over top of that chest right there. Turn and place one there. Turn and place one there. Turn and place one just like that. You then want to take your observers place one facing away from the piston like that so the arrow is pointing into it and do this for all four pistons and then once you have that go ahead and take one observer and place it into the piston and if you've done it correctly you should see that it shoots out once like that and then stops and then once you do place this fourth one on here it is going to go in a continuous circle sorry i misplaced this one as you can see now it's going to go in a continuous circle and now all you need to do is take your trident and throw it on top of there. And as you're going to see, it is going to get pushed around in a circle like this. So what's going to happen is the mobs are going to fall all the way down this chamber. Since we threw this trident, we are automatically going to get all of the XP. And the drops are going to go inside of this chest down here. Now all we have to do is sit here and do nothing and the farm will complete itself. I'm then going to go ahead and just replace these blocks here just to make sure that no drops can actually escape. Place my two slabs just like that. And now what I'm going to do is actually take this chest and just turn it like this so that we can actually still access it. And then what I'm going to actually have to do as well is take this hopper and place it into that one, just ensuring that all four of these hoppers are pointing inside of this one chest. So once I replace this um, observer and actually fix it here, as you're going to see, it's going to go around and I can collect all of the items inside of this chest. I'm now going to turn my game into hard mode. It can be on easy or normal if you want, but hard will drop 50% more drops and mobs. And now all I have to do is sit here and the entire farm does itself. I just sit here, I automatically collect the XP, the drops go inside of the chest and I come back later with a ton of levels and a ton of mob loot. Now, a lot of people say different things, but if the farm isn't working, try AFKing here, try AFKing a little bit further away, maybe down, maybe up, whatever works. For me, I find that if I sit here, mobs end up falling, and then this way I can also collect all of the XP at the same time. One more really quick thing, if you log on to your game and you see the pistons are doing this, all you have to do is break two observers and replace them down and the farm will fix itself. As you can see, the mobs are starting to fall down. I'm in survival mode and you can see I'm collecting the XP and the drops are going inside of this chest right down here. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As well, you can download this world first link in the description and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Blazed MCU.